Hello everyone and welcome to Grade Up. Guys, today we have come forward with the usual daily current affairs dated the 28th of January 2021. So guys, in this session, I would be discussing about 20 MCQs with you for any BBA and hotel management entrance examination, which would help you in the best of your preparations. All right. That said, now let me tell you a little bit about the courses that are coming up. So we are very soon launching a proper grade up structured course for your entrance examination. This would be you would be getting these the details about this very soon. All right. Now let us go on and start qu discussing questions for the day. All right. Okay. So question number one. Who has inaugurated the Bharat Parv 2021? which is a national festival showcasing the country's diverse culture, cuisine and handicrafts. Is it A, the President Ramnath Kovind, B, Vinkaiya Naidu, is it C, Om, Om Birla or is the answer Prahlad Singh Patil? Have a look at the options and tell me which option do you think here is correct. Okay. The answer to this question is C, Om Birla. So the speaker of the Lok Sabha, as we know, Shri Om Birla, has inaugurated the Bharat Parv 2021. It is a national festival for showcasing the country's diverse culture, the cuisines, as well as the handicrafts. Okay. So the Minister of State Independent Charge, or MOSIC, as we call it, Prahalat Singh Patil, was also present at the occasion. Okay, now let's go to the next question. Okay, for the first time, a 122 member tri-service contingent of which country has participated in the Indian Republic Day Parade of 2021? Okay, it's a very important one, a very interesting one. Have a look at the options. It's A, Myanmar, B, Bangladesh, is it C, Sri Lanka or is the answer D, Bhutan? Have a look at the options. Tell me which one you think is correct. Okay. So, the answer, the answer to this question, the question today is B, uh, B, Bangladesh. Now, see. For the first time, a marching contingent and band of Bangladesh Tri Services, okay, they participated in the Indian Republic Day Parade to commemorate the 50 years of its historic liberation. So, if you know, pa Bangladesh was, was a part of East Pakistan initially and it was liberated in the year 1971, okay. So, uh, the, the 122 member contingent of the Bangladesh Armed Forces had soldiers of the Army, had soldiers of the sailors of the Navy and air warriors of the Air Force. Okay. And it was led by the Commander Lieutenant Gen Colonel Abu Muhammad Shahnoor Shawon. Abu Muhammad Shahnoor Shawon and his deputies Lieutenant Farhan Ishraq and Lieutenant Sibbat Rahman. Okay. So, very historic moment on uh, this year. All right. Now, the next question. Who has launched the mobile action game Fearless and United Guards on the occasion of the 70th of the 72nd Republic Day? Is the answer Amir Khan, Ajay Devgan, Akshay Kumar or is it D, Salman Khan? So, again, look at the options. Tell me which one you think here is correct. Okay, the answer to this question is C, Akshay Kumar. So you must be knowing that Akshay Kumar usually in his movies, he actually does a lot of stunts by himself. So because of that, you would see that Bollywood actor Akshay Kumar has launched the mobile action game Fearless and United Guards on the occasion of the 72nd Republic Day of India. Okay, he unveiled the game with an animated trailer and wrote F-A-U-G, Forge. Okay, that actually means uh, army over here. Face the enemy, fight for your country, protect your flag. India's most anticipated game has taken you to the front lines and beyond. All right, now the next question. 
J.K. Shivan has been appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of which bank? Is the answer A. Bandhan Bank? Is the answer B. Dhanlakshmi Bank? Is it C. South Indian Bank? Or is the answer D. IDFC Bank? Okay. So have a look at the options here and tell me which one you actually think is going to be the correct option for the day. Okay. So the answer for the day is B, the Dhanalakshmi Bank. So J.K. Shivan, uh, he has been appointed as the MD and CEO of the Dhanalakshmi Bank, which is actually a Kerala-based company. Okay. Now the next question. Whose appointment as Treasury Secretary has been confirmed by the U.S. Senate? Okay. So the U.S. US Senate has confirmed which has confirmed the appointment of which of the following people? Is it A, Janet, uh, Janet Yellen, Neera Tandon, Kumud Srinivasan or Neelam Dhawan? Okay, have a look at the options. Tell me which one you think here is correct. Okay, now the next question for the, the answer to, the, to this is A, Janet Yellen. Now let's go to the next question. The, see, the former Federal Reserve Chair, uh, Janet Yellen, was confirmed as the Treasury Secretary within the Senate voting 85, uh, within the Senate uh, with the vote of 84-15, okay, to make her very first, make her the first woman to lead the department, okay. Uh, you are going to see, you are going to see here, uh, that Yellen stepped into the role with some advantages and she is well known and respected among lawmakers of both parties and has experience with various economical challenges. The 73, 74 year old previously broke barriers as the first female Fed chief. Okay, now the next question. Who has been sworn as the new U.S. Secretary of the State? So the options here are again there in front of you. Okay. So again, look at the options and uh, tell me which one you think is correct. Is it Janet Yellen, Neera Tandon, Kumut Srinivasan or D. Anthony Blinken? See the options. Tell me which one do you think is matching the description. Okay. The answer to this question, okay, is D, Antony Blinken. Okay, now see. Uh, the US Senate has overwhelmingly confirmed Antony Blinken as the nation's, as the nation's 71st Secretary of State as lawmakers scrambled to approve President Joe Biden's cabinet nominees, okay, uh, before impeachment proceedings be which began against his predecessor. Okay. So this is the... Show of the day. Okay. Now the next question. Marcelo, Marcelo Ribello de Souza. Okay. Marcelo Ribello de Souza has been re-elected as the president of which country? Is it A, Spain, B, Belgium, is it C, Italy or is the answer going to be D? Portugal. Take 10 seconds of your time. Look at the options given on your screen and please answer accordingly. Okay, so the answer to this question is D, Portugal. 
See, Marcelo Rebelo de Souza has been elected as the president of Portugal for the second term after securing 60% of the votes in the election held on the 24th of January 2021. Okay, he belongs to the Socialist Democratic Party and was elected for the first term in the year 2016. So, this is about Mr. de Souza. Now, let's go to the next question. Who has authored the book titled India 2030, The Rise of a Raj Rajasic Nation? Is the answer A. Farid Zakaria, B. Gautam uh, Chikarmani, is the answer C. Mohammad Zishan or K. S. Vidyanath? Okay, so look at the options, carefully look at the options uh, and tell me which one here you think is going to be the correct option for the day. Take 10 seconds of your time. Okay, the answer to this question is B, Gautam Chikarmane. See, Gautam Chikarmane was the vice president of Observer Research Foundation, authored and edited the book titled India 2030. Okay, and it is a collection of essays. If you notice it very carefully, it is nothing but a collection of essays which describes about the likes, the likes, of a 20 of 20 forecasts by 20 thought leaders from india based on 20 themes okay and the book was published by penguin eberry press so a very important book all right and now let's go to the next question okay which space research organization okay again i'm repeating myself which space research organization has created a world record by launching 143 satellites in a single mission. Okay. Is the answer ISRO, Roscosmos, is it C, SpaceX or D, CNSA? Alright. It's a very important question. So, look at the question. Carefully look at it. Tell me which one you think here is going to be the correct option for the day. Okay. The answer to this question is C, SpaceX. C, SpaceX has launched a new world record by launching approximately 143 satellites, if you are going to see, in a single mission. They were launched using, they were launched using the Falcon 9 reusable rockets from the Cape, from the Cape uh, Canaveral Space Station, which is based in Florida. Okay which is obviously in the United States. With this, SpaceX bettered ISRO, ISRO's record of deploying 104 satellites in a single mission in uh, February 2017. All right. Now, let's go to the next question of the day. All right. So, which state government has launched the new school of public health to make intervention to make intervention for building public health capacity and skills and bridge gaps between education and practices in the state is the answer going to be a madhya pradesh is the answer going to be uh, b karnataka is the answer c uttar pradesh or is the answer is the answer going to be D Rajasthan? Okay, quickly look at the options given on your screen and uh, tell me which one over here you think is going to be the correct option for this. Okay. Now, the answer to this question is D, Rajasthan. See, a new school of public health has been launched. Okay. A new school of public health has been launched basically to, uh, to, uh, to make policy intervention for bridging public health capacity and skills and bridge the gaps between education and practices in Rajasthan. Okay. 
uh it is named after the indian institute of health management research um uh, chairperson st gupta the school will provide technical support to health systems and render help to state government in harnessing these new technologies now let's go to the next question who among the following is the chief of the united states chief justice is it a john ray b william renquist is it c john roberts or d warren have a look at the options and tell me which one here you think is going to be the correct option okay the answer to this question is c john roberts okay so john grover roberts junior is currently the chief justice of the united states he was an american lawyer as well as a jurist the, he, currently he is the 17th chief justice of the united states uh, since 29th september 2005 now let's go to the next question okay so aruna harder is the coo of which of the following messaging services is it a whatsapp b signal or uh, is it c telegram or is it d wechat okay again take 10 seconds look at the options carefully think about it and write in your answers okay the answer to this question again is b signal c uh, she is the coo of signal messenger which is a cross platform centralized encrypted messaging service developed by signal foundation and signal messenger it was released about 6 years ago or in 2014 so it uses the standard cellular telephone numbers as identifiers and secures communications to other signal uh, signal signal users with end to end encryption okay now the next question so which indian state is coming up with bakapur wolf sanctuary is it a karnataka b Ker tamil nadu c kerala or is it d telangana okay okay the answer to this question is a karnataka So the first wildlife sanctuary Bakapur Wolf Sanctuary is exclusively for wolves. It has come up in the Koppal district of Karnataka. According to the proposed grey wolves in according to the proposal, the grey wolves inhabit the dry grass regions of the Deccan plateau, okay, and they prey on black wax as well as other herbivores. So this is the question for today. Now let's go to the next question. All right. So, which company took over the Tiruvannatha Tiruvannatha Puram? Okay, the Tiruvannatha Puram uh, International Airport. Is it the Reliance Group, the Adani Group, the Tata Group, or D, the Aditya Birla Group? Okay, ten take take ten seconds again. Look at the options and tell me again which one you think is going to be the most viable answer to this question. okay so the answer to this question is b the adani group so the ahmedabad based group has took over the tiruvannathapuram international airport which so the group is an indian multinational uh, conglomerate company which is founded which was founded on the 20th of july okay the 20th of july by gautam adani uh, and is headquartered at ahmedabad gujarat india okay now the next question Who among the following is the CTO of Inrupt? 
द सी टी ओ ऑफ इनरप्ट ओके इज द आंसर गोइंग टू बी ए कल्याण कुमार इज द आंसर बी केविन स्कॉट इज द आंसर सी इहाब तराजी और इज द आंसर गोइंग टू बी डी टिम बर्निस ली ओके सो अगेन लुक एट दी ऑप्शन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल आंसर सो जस्ट लुक एट इट एंड टेल मी विच वन हियर यू कंसिडर टू बी द करेक्ट आंसर ओके द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज डी टिम बर्निस ली सी द टिम बर्निस ली इज द सी टी ओ ऑफ इनरप्ट ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन द एथ ऑफ जून नाइनटीन फिफ्टी okay england he is an english computer scientist and is known as the inventor of the world wide web the www as we usually use and he is the founder and president of the open data university okay and an advisor at the network mevi so inrupt was basically formed if i can tell you inrupt was formed in the year 2013 okay all right now let's go to the next question india has signed an mou of with which country to enhance as i call it to enhance cooperation in the field in the field of in the field of information and communications technology and standardization of 5g is it a is the answer going to be a usa is the answer going to be b uh, france is the answer going to be c japan or is the answer going to be d germany okay so look at the options again okay the answer to this question is going to be c uh, japan okay c india and japan have signed an mou to enhance cooperation in the field of information and in uh, and uh, information and communications technology okay mou has been signed as i am telling you mou has been signed by minister of communications and it uh, and it communications electronics and it ravi shankar prasad and the japanese and the japanese prime minister for internal affairs and communications takeda ryota okay okay now let's go to the next question that we are going to see all right uh prarambh which is a startup india international uh, summit of 2021 was held in which of the following cities is it a bengaluru is the answer going to be b new delhi is the answer c jaipur or is the answer going to be d hyderabad okay quickly look at the options on your screen okay the answer to this question is b uh, new delhi see the uh, if i'll tell you the two day prarambh summit was basically held at was basically held at new delhi with members of the bimstech that is the bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation and it countries participated in the inaugural event okay the summit is being organized by the department as i said it is being organized by the department for promotion of industry and internal trade ministry of commerce okay ministry of commerce and industry as a follow up of the announcement made by prime minister shri narendra modi okay so this is the information about it now next go to the next question we have okay
ओके द आंसर ओके सो हु हैज अनवेल्ड इंडिया फर्स्ट इंडिजिनियसली डेवलप डिजाइन एंड डेवलप ड्राइवरलेस मेट्रो का मैन्युफैक्चर बाय भारत अर्थ अर्थ मूवर्स लिमिटेड इज इट गोइंग टू बी ए नरेंद्र मोदी बी मिस्टर हर्षवर्धन सी अमित शाह और इज इट डी राजनाथ सिंह ओके ओके द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज डी राजनाथ सिंह सी ही इज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ डिफेंस करेंटली एंड ही अनवेल इंडिया फर्स्ट इंडिजिनियसली एज आई एम सेंग ऑल द टाइम इंडिया फर्स्ट इंडिजिनियसली अनवेल्ड ड्राइवरलेस मेट्रो का ड्यूरिंग अ फंक्शन एट द भारत अर्थ मूवर्स लिमिटेड ओके एंड ही डिड दिस he did he it is being manufactured by the beml the mumbai metropolitan regional development mmrda and it needs 576 cars as of now which will be used by uh, which is going to be used very soon uh, by 2024 so this is the information about this one all right okay okay now the next question what is the total outlay of the third phase of the pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana for uh, which is at um, for 2000 uh 2021 and it which aims to train about approximately uh you know 8 lakh candidates so again this is a very important question for this year so please have a look at this of these questions and uh, give me your viable answer for the same answer for this question is c 948.90 see the union minister of skill development okay the union minister of skill development has uh uh an entrepreneurship dr mahindranath pandey has launched the third phase of pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana in 600 districts across india and has made about 300 plus skill courses available to the youth it aims at providing training to about 8 lakh candidates for 2020 to 2021 and has an outlay of approximately 950 crores guys now the last question of the day according to the international migration 2020 report released by the united nations department of economic and social affairs undesa which country had the world's largest transnational community uh, in 2020 is it a china b usa is it c india or is the answer going to be d russia okay quickly have a look at the options and tell me which one you think is going to be correct see the answer is very simple it's d india now according to the international migration report which is uh, you know released by the un desa 18 million people from india are living outside their country making it the world's largest transnational community after this you will see that there are a lot of mexicans and russians followed by chinese and after that the syrian uh, arab republic now guys as i've already told you before we have a course running and in case you want to be a important part of the bba uh, you know a very a fresh course on bba we are going to launch it very soon for that please stay tuned or if you want more information about it please make sure that you're calling our counselors on the number given on your screen 
ओके ऑल राइट सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग ऑनलाइन गाइस प्लीज़ टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्व बाय